Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Scala. Guys, in this video, I'll be talking about operators in Scala. So what are operators? Operators are the symbols that perform operations used for modifying or manipulating data. So operators are not a new thing, right? The uh, operators are available in all the programming languages. So what are the operators I'm talking about? These are the operators which Scala supports. The types of operators are arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, bitwise operators, assignment operators. Let's see those operators one by one. First, we have arithmetic operators, which simply include the operators like addition, subtraction, multiplication. This is for finding the remainder, division, right? Then we have relational operators, which are used for comparing the things, right? Less than, greater than, less than, equal to, right? So on. Then we got logical operators, which works on Boolean, like logical and, logical or, logical not. Then we got bitwise operators. Bitwise operators work only on integers, bitwise, right? Then we have assignment operators, which are nothing but the modified version of the previous operators, right? Plus equal to, minus equal to, multiplied equal to. We'll see those operators in action in Scala now. So these are just a little intro to the, all the operators. Let's see those operators in action. So for this, I've already have opened up the Scala's prompt, right? And I've already have written down all the examples for you. Right, let's get started. First, we'll see how the arithmetic operators work. So we'll be using two operands here. First is 10, second is seven. On these two operands, we'll be performing all the operations. You can see we're just simply using print ln statement to print the result, right? Let's see. So in just to save the time, we'll be just copy and pasting and let's see how, what's the answer we are getting, right? Copy and then we are pasting here. You can see I got the answers. You can see plus means 10 plus 7, 17, minus 3, 70, 1, and I got a remainder 3. This is how the arithmetic operators works. Then we have relational operators. Again, we have this little examples. So let's see how they are working. We're just comparing. The answer will be in a form of Boolean, right? So uh, here I'm comparing operand 1, which is 10. Uh, greater than seven, absolutely right, it's true, right, and so on. So we are getting the answer in the form of true and false. Then I got the third set of operators called logical operators in which I'm just taking the VL A, VL A equal to true, VL B equal to false, and we are just uh, going with A logical and B. So answer will be false. We all know the simple uh, operations in logical operators. Let's see, as expected, the expression has given us the answer false right because true and false always give you false then we have a bitwise operators bitwise operator meaning is they are working bitwise right let's see one example of it i'm taking vl a equal to 12 vl b equal to 5 and i'll be performing the bitwise uh, and right let's see one example this one print ln a and b right so let's see how it's working I got answer four. So you must be wondering why it is four. For this, I've already have added down the explanation here. So 12 in the binary form is uh, four times zero, one, one, double zero, and five in the binary form is four times zero, zero, one, zero, one, right? In this case, in uh, if you can see the in, in proper order, only in this uh, third, this one, like third position, I'll be having one and one, right? So the, how it will be working? 0 and 0, okay, 0 and 0, then again 0 and 0, 0 and 0, 0 and 0. So what give you 0, 1 and 0, again 0, and here I'll be getting the 1 and 1, which give you 1. So it, the answer will be 4 zeros, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, right? So it, which, which is given, which is, has given us the answer in the form of 4. So it is working on a bitwise, right? This is the meaning of bitwise. In the same way, we can perform other operations as well. Just see uh, this one or and others operators. Then we have assignment operators, last one, in which I've taken two variables. One is of type A of, it is VAR A. Let's see, we have taken. Now we'll be performing the operations, right? Let's see. In this case, I'm using A plus equal to B. Let's see what will be the answer. So you can see now why, I, why I've got the answer 17 here because it is a plus equal to b. Before the using assignment operator answer was 10, right? So we are just using 10 plus equal to 7. So, so 7 will be added to the 
left operand so answer will be 17 this is how assignment operator works right i hope you must have understood the concept of operators right which are arithmetic relational logical bitwise and assignment operators please uh, let me know if something is not clear uh, i'll be uh, reaching to you on the comments thanks for watching guys see you next video